Colorado's number two ranking for parents refusing vaccines makes school health officials nervous. In D11, 90% of opt-outs claim a personal opposition to vaccines. I think parents feel like they're doing the right thing by their child to not vaccinate because they're, they're nervous. They've heard some things out there. They're not sure what it is, and it's easier to not do it than to do it. Excusable options aren't always just a personal choice. Medical exemptions and religious exemptions also count. My patients actually had low immune systems, so I did not recommend them getting the vaccines, but for most kids, this is absolutely appropriate and really needed for the protection of the general public. But parents choosing to opt out argue their choices don't affect anyone outside their family. Well, if your child is vaccinated and the vaccination should work, then my child shouldn't affect your child. Dr. Tolberg explained groups have what's called herd immunity. Those with shots safeguard the minority without vaccines. Between seven and nine out of 10 get it, then most children are going to be safe because of this herd immunity. But if less than that actually have it, these, these viruses can be really anywhere, and so the risk is pretty significant. The state says kids who are not vaccinated are 23 times more likely to get whooping cough, <laughs> an epidemic in Colorado and preventable disease. You know, it means a lot for that student. They're going to be excluded and quarantined and, um, and be really, really sick for quite some time. But Kimberly says she's entitled to her choice, and her four kids have been all right so far. My gut said don't do it at all, and you know, I'm just glad, you know, they're super healthy. They rarely ever get sick and we don't go to the doctor.